what up everybody uh we are back on this podcast bro uh i just can't i just i want to mention this so bad like i want to mention this really really bad um first of all i want to mention something uh i can talk to my producer now uh say hi producer what's up guys i have uh, a mic now I'm mic'd up. okay you okay can't see him, but you can hear him yeah that's what's uh, up that's what's up it's one thing i want to say to the to the to the to the producer can you check if the microphone on the live stream software is on roadcaster pro okay <laughs> all right but i'll do that for you is it on there all right we're good great all right, for sure all right i'm just a little <laughs> just double checking you guys double checking but we have yeah we have a mic'd up uh producer you guys can hear him now you just just heard him so if we ever have questions and um things like that well he will be coming in sometimes we already know he'll be correcting us a lot right now yeah he'll be correcting us because like the J jeffrey dahmer Dom yeah they said damer yeah you got it right all right yeah he said thank you well, yeah okay <laughs> but yeah so we are here in a podcast we got a new mic guys Look shout out this. to the new mic Dang, shout out to the new mic <laughs> okay i see you mike <laughs> bro we sound we're sounding good we're looking like a professional podcast kind of we are a professional podcast yeah. what you mean yeah, we're so, yeah. And then this guy we got his drink you so that's not lean it's uh it's coke holy water Holy water, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's, holy no, water, it's guys, no don't coke. Worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also got my drink, but I don't want to show the brand. But I got my drink. If you want us, if you want to be shown, just you know, if you invest show, a little bit. Sponsor, of just sponsor. How you guys have a lot of money anyway. Yes, you guys should be sponsoring us, guys. Sponsoring us. You on the on the brand of coffee that has blue and and white on his logo. Yep. 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 Anyway, the, we the brothers from uh, Germany or, or Scotland, whatever. Oh right, like they're 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 uh they're uh what's it called? They're a European. European. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to say the name. We don't want to the say the name. telling us, but they're. I don't want to say the name. <laughs> I don't want to say the first name because everybody yes. uh, they're low key get publicity by that. Yeah, of course. Low key, low key. Bro, we're gonna be telling the whole church, the whole the whole people that are looking at us. Go get coffee from this guy because he's the best coffee, you know. Honestly, I and all you better. have to do is give us free coffee. Yeah, give us. I always say, get us free coffee. That's it. Yeah, we'll that's say. that's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all we're gonna do. Or give us a barista to have here, you know, making coffee for us. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, but referring my boy Rambo from West Valley. Just if you ever see this, bro, you already know who you are. I'm sorry for calling you Rambo, but sorry. Rambo. Yeah. It's cause he is he had, a friend? Huh? He's a friend. He's he's a he's a cool dude. Okay. Yeah, I just named him Rambo. All right. Because <laughs> he had long hair and kind of like used a bandana oh, really? sometimes. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I used to have long hair, but now I have short hair. Anyway. I uh, used to have curly hair, and now I have straight hair. Honestly, you look good with both. Thank you. You look you look fresh all the time. Thank you. Bro, you do too. I like your sweater, bro. I know. It's a horse. Sorry, it's a brand. It's a horse, guys. It's, That's what's up. It's really bright. Anyway, we got a good podcast for you guys today. And we got something special for you guys a little bit because we figured out how to do this. Um, it might not be a lot for you, but for us, it's a good step. It's a great yeah, step. Yeah, I feel like it's a good step on us. It's like uh, of what we can do nowadays. And, and then, like, I figured it out and I got excited. I don't know. Maybe yes. for you guys, you're not that excited about it. But I am. Um, and we're going to, today, we're going to react to something for you guys. We're well, live streaming right now. And uh, we're, I'm going to put this on the Why You Podcast um, channel. So I'm going to be, this is going to be recorded on the other channel. And um, so let's look at this right now. I'm going to ask my producer to pull it up real quick. There we go. There we go. Okay, we great. Go. Okay. So we got we this right here, which is, uh, can you highlight that description, um, Marisha, just real quick before you get the description? That's the comments. Description. That's, that's not the description. That's, oh my gosh. <laughs> What yeah, is it? Yeah, yes, that. He's this. If you don't know who An Anthony Padilla is, um, I think Maurice, you know who's who knows who that is. Do you know who that is, Maurice? Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you know, you may know Maurice that he is from Smash, right? Yeah, he's from Smash. Yeah, yeah. What? So, it, what? It, what is this? I mean, well, got, Smash, well I, I, is that an old it's, channel? It's a channel. It's he's one of the OGs of YouTube. Okay. Um, okay. He, I think he was one of the first people to have. The most subscribers on YouTube. When he was pretty young, I, I assume. Yeah, when he was young. But now all he does is like interviews. Now I don't know if you know Mauricio. Is that that's all he does? Oh yeah, like mostly on his YouTube channel. YouTube channel. It's Anthony Padilla. He just uh, reviews or yeah, he you, just interviews. Does reviews. Yeah, interviews. Well, okay. Interviews, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So yeah, most of it is uh, interviews and um, yeah. 
So we're going to be watching uh, this guy right here, um, uh, Anthony Padilla's channel. So let's play this first part. Okay, there's no sound. <laughs> we're, yeah, having... There we oh, there go. go. ...about the highly controversial beliefs right, and bizarre <laughs> rituals of this occultist religion. Today, I'm going to put their words to the test by allowing them to use me Wait, skip as to the a first vessel to cast a spell. Skip to the first one. That's just introduction. No, put it to the first one right there. The various. More, more, more. Right there, right there. Mauricio, we're going we're gonna to take off your mic if you don't do it. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. The 1940s in mm -hmm. England, there is this popular movement to start looking toward magic and the magical traditions of that area. And there's this guy named Gerald Gardner who comes out and he starts writing popular Okay, books. okay. Can, right. can you go back to the picture of that guy? Yeah. Uh, uh, the Gerald Gardner? The, the Joe go back Gardner. Like 10 yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, pass okay, pause it, pause it. Pass okay. it. Is he just, is he, I'm sorry guys, I have to say, does he look like Snoop Dogg a little bit? <laughs> Hell yeah, he does, bro. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> he does look I'm like sorry. <laughs> bro, what the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? He does look like Snoopy a little bit, bro. <laughs> anyway, that's the guy that started off this all, this religion and everything and the Wicca and um, if, and I mean, obviously, in this video, it's going to explain what Wicca is. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I mean, continue. Gerald Gardner, who comes out and he starts writing popular books. He has a tabloid presence. And basically, he comes out and tells people, hey, I was initiated into this surviving witch cult. I've gotten permission to write about it and share it with the world. People start seeking him and various associates of his out mm -hmm. for initiation. And eventually, he initiates folks in the US, his books make it over there, and people begin spreading his tradition in the United States. The particular tradition that I follow goes back to that dude. He brought people in, they brought people in, they brought people in, I'm down here somewhere. Like Let's a pyramid scheme. It. Yes, mm. All right. exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so here's the history of that uh, video. Uh, skip it to the next uh, point, um, to the next point. But yeah, he, right there, he yeah. started off there. Uh, he, so we can see that the history it comes back from this one person, comes back from this... Uh, from Snoopy. From Snoopy. <laughs> from Snoopy, the, the witch Snoopy. <laughs> witch Snoopy. No, Whitlock Snoopy. And then, yeah, and so, like, it shows, like, what these people believe. Like, yes. What uh, even, even, like, someone as Anthony Padilla is trying to... A view of these people. Yes. He's, like, he's just trying to understand them, but, like, you know, this, this history. And you can tell that, like, how 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 much people are looking for the supernatural? Yes, where they take his books like that. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like and and something that I want to say real quick. Uh, I don't think that it's anything bad trying to understand what people believe, as long as you are real. Uh, like the, where you know where you're stepping right. That you know that uh, you like us as Christians uh, that we know that Jesus Christ is the way. Uh, just like we were talking last time in the last podcast with with Juan Valdez, if you if you haven't seen that podcast, it was really good. And Juan Valdez, if you're looking at this, thanks again for the opportunity. But like we were talking with him, right? Right. It's really important that you know where 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 like who you are. Right. Right. That right. you are that you are sure that that you follow Jesus, and uh, because nowadays everything can can get you confused. You know, everything can confuse you a little bit, and more like with things like this, like what Wiccans do, you know? Wick, yeah, Wiccans, which is basically witches. Yes, yes. All right, continue with the video, um, my boy. I know some folks who will say that their initiations felt like a culmination of something. For other people, it's the moment itself is that, that transitory kind of explosive moment where suddenly you're different. If I were uh, a skeptic, I might hear things like, there was a guy at this point sometime <laughs> within recent history that found this thing and then started spreading his word and then people started becoming initiated into it. I would think cult. Yeah, and that word was used. I think cult is one of those words where we use it usually to mean this religion over here that we don't like. People used to write about the cult of democracy in the United States, this idea of devotion to something, adherence to something. All right, so it's <clears throat> so, so they start off with the weird word cult. All right, you can skip to the next point, but to the next one, but um, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about, about this. Yes. Cult, cult. So 
right cold um for us um for for us christians when we say cult we say anything that's trying to emulate christianity and change the kind of like pervert yeah pervert the religion of christianity okay okay it makes um, sense and basically that's what it's trying to it's what's what we believe yeah but and like, i mean it this is a really a really deep uh how's it called the 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 word itself is really deep and you got to be careful how you use it because a lot of people uh from uh in the hispanic culture you know right right when they go to church it's like oh voy a ir al culto you know and but they at that moment they don't they don't uh they don't understand the level of words that they're using wait wait does culto mean like cult in, cult, in yeah, english in Actually, english yes i always thought it was like a service yeah exactly and that's what means, that's what i'm saying oh really cuz cuz People don't understand what they're saying, pretty much, because if they understood what cult means, they right. wouldn't be like, oh, voy a ir al culto. They'll be like, oh, voy a ir al servicio, you know? Right, 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 right. And so, yeah, I mean, cult really means, like, just a... The perversion. Group. I mean, I yeah. guess in the real definition of cult, it means, like, you know, people that uh, practice a certain yeah. kind the, of religion. They congregate. Yeah, they congregate. To, to a, practice a... Uh, that's, that, that might be the definition on a book, but the definition itself... Is the one that has the real, the real value as, and the real. As Christians, we believe cult really just means like someone that is trying to be spiritual, but that is not towards what Christ. Yes, is. exactly. It's and whatever what spiritual life. Yeah, is. and whatever is not with Christ is against Christ. So, yeah. so pretty much what we're saying is that cult is a group of people trying to pervert the the, the gospel or or the definition of Christianity. Right, 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 right. And yeah, and that's okay. what that's what we're trying to. Uh, do but put it into the next the next uh, timeline or whatever it's called. The bookmark? Right there, my yeah, boy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, from the very beginning. If you ask most sort of young witches, they'll tell you that magic is the art of manipulating supernatural forces to yeah. manifest what you want. Mm -hmm. Not so much. I mean, that's kind of an old model. What is the magic, actually? Is the magic is the flow of the sacred from energy into embodiment. Everything's interconnected. And that flow of connection, that relationship, that energy that moves back and forth between us and the plant, which could use a little more water and a little oh, more sun. Oh, we're trying not to talk about that. <laughs> All right, pause right there. So he's just trying to like... That's why we use fake plants. <laughs> That's why we have, we have fake plants. But yeah, he's, she's just saying it's just a flow of, um, of like... Uh, of energy. Energy, yeah, I was like, going to say. That's just like a... Like that term is used so much nowadays, but it comes up really from these these people. Yes, like a, and actually, oh, if, you, if you give go back me bad a energy. Bit, where uh, the history on the little, on the little, um, no, go back a little bit, back, back, back. Where it says history, the his, no, no, but with your mouse, so where it says history, go back, back, back. Is it a cult? Yeah, I think she says a little bit about it. Um, does she say something? Hey, my common Not mates, her. yeah, we used. That lady, Melissa? I, I'm pretty sure that he was, yeah, right there. In the beginning? They'll tell you that magic is the art of manipulating I supernatural. I said. Anyway, but she she's talking about, right, uh, maybe it's in the after. I'll probably mention it if I see it again. Or probably in the real beginning. Yeah, is, maybe. Somewhere around there. Yeah, because she, she talks about how Abrahamic faiths yes. tend to put it wrong. I, I'm going to, because I watched this a little bit before I watched but. Yeah, um, we, guys, you have to understand that we have to do our research. <laughs> yeah, but she talks about like how Abrahamic faiths talk bad about it. But just that, that the wording, like I've I've even used it mm -hmm. um, in my own life using the word uh, vibes. Yes. And um, to see if we kind of vibe. Yeah, like the vibes. When I go out with girls, they're all like, I feel that we have a good vibe. And in, and in that moment, I break up with them. <laughs> I, I give no vibes. But even as a Christian, I, I mean, obviously, I don't mean like. In a bad way, like I in an energetic vibe, in, in, like in, 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 in that way. way. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean it in that way, but I mean it when I use it. I mean it more like, I mean it more like. Are a, you vibing? Like, is it a vibe? with the music? Like, your energy, yeah, like, right. But like, obviously, it comes comes from these people or yes. a lot of new age, where the energy and all that stuff and again and connected to that planet. Again, to what I was saying, sometimes we don't understand what we are specifically saying, you know? Mm -hmm. We use words, like, as in slang, you know? Right, right, right. Because pretty much, oh, we're vibing. It's like, we are getting along. Right, right. But we use that a little bit of slang that it comes from these people, and people will call me, oh, you're so religious, or you're so this. 
look, I have lines in my hair. I'm not religious at all. Uh, but, <laughs> but the thing is, like, we got to be careful. We got to understand what we were saying. Right, right, right. We got to be careful. Well, yeah, right. the, 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 the words that we choose to use. Right, right, right. And, yeah, I mean, obviously, even I've used it in my own life, like, <gasps> in that way. But, like, not in that way, but, like, <laughs> I mean, like, dude, the vibe is off or that person's yes. wrong vibes. Yes. Obviously, no, like, it, it, it's, it's been, those words have infiltrated, like, our, even our own language. So yes. Like it's, it's crazy. Anyway, continue the, the video, my friend. Forces to manifest what you want. Mm -hmm. Not so much. I mean, that's kind of an old model. What is the magic, actually? The magic is the flow of the sacred from energy into embodiment. Everything's interconnected. And that flow of connection, right, that relationship. A little bit more. Yeah, that I think we saw this. Now talk about 13, 14 dimensions of reality. In fact, we operate mostly in three. But the mind has a capacity to experience much more. When you open your mind and open your heart, the sacred comes to you. You ask, and the energy flows into you. And it changes you, and you work with it. And working with it is casting a spell. I thought it was you had to find five Pause over very me, Claudio, real quick. This witch. Yes. Bro, I mean, <laughs> the only thing that flows for me that is sacred is the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, amen. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with you. And I'm gonna talk to the Lord about you. He ain't talk happy. To the Lord about you. He ain't happy. <laughs> calling, calling energy to the Holy Spirit. What? Yeah, yeah. Whack. This is what I mean. People, that confusion, you know, when you are not standing right on the ground, when you don't know what you believe, people get confused. And that's like what, she, what she's saying here is that right. you open your mind, you open your heart, and it is a cult. Right. We can we can say this because. It, they are perverting what we do as Christians. Yeah, we're the we open our heart to the Lord. Yeah, that's the only person we should be opening our heart to, and putting ourselves into this can open doors in our lives. Yes, that yes, could hurt us greatly. Could hurt us immensely. Could could it could cause spiritually, people. mentally, yeah. in in levels that people really don't understand. That generates confusion. As you can see nowadays, people they they don't know what to believe. They don't know. Who they are, they don't even know what they are. Uh, if, if you guys try, like, if you guys understand what I'm saying, yeah, 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 and yeah, so they don't even know what's going on or anything like that, and they believe, like, especially people that don't know or have Christianity. And I hope if you're not Christian and you're watching this, if you don't have Christianity or or, or you know a true God, the Bible says that the you know I'm the true, I'm the life, the way, and uh, I'm the truth and the life. You know, I'm the you know, I'm the way, right? He says that no yes. one comes to the Father except through me. He says, I give through, I give true peace. I give true love. That when you are out there in the world and trying to look for real love and real compassion and stuff like that, and you're trying to find in these things, um, you just open yourself up to uh, things that are probably not good. You know what I mean? And and but I I can tell you that the truth comes from God only. Yes, yes. And and again, guys, if you're watching this. Smash this like button. <laughs> Smash that <laughs> like button. Subscribe, subscribe to your channel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cheers to you. This is this is this is not an alcoholic drink. Yeah, it's just soda. But it gets gets me hype. <laughs> All right, good play. Press play, my friend. Herbs mix yes. them together, and it could cause <laughs> blood and the blood of some <laughs> Is that blood? Person, and then you have to mix it up and mash it together. Really? Yeah, no. And then you have to drink it six times. Yeah. Where did you hear this? Stop going on witch talk. And then all your <laughs> dreams will manifest. A good spell opens your heart, asks for what you need. And then if you wish to, to enhance you know, the, the asking, you can add herbs and oils. There's an artistry to it. Mm -hmm. And it can be very beautiful. But it doesn't have to be anything more than breathing or drinking water or making an offering. Magic potentially involves a lot of things. People who will tell you that if you make a wish on your birthday candles and you blow those out, like that's a type of spell. Lots of people have different perspectives. Wait, 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 wait. That pause that. Ways. I've been casting the spells for my last 22 years, my boy. I've been blowing on those candles. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, yeah. guys, I don't try to get this, this as a joke because it's a real topic. It's a serious topic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Phyllis get me upset. And this girl, this lady, too, I don't know her name, but Phyllis, she's right. She's really recognized uh, in, in this in this concept as, as weekends, you know. Uh, 
it it bothers me a little bit uh, all the the background that he has in his video sorry i just gives me kind of like i was gonna say off vibes <laughs> <laughs> you see what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys just saying uh ernie a gonzalez has blessings oh oh Ernie? Pastor, he's Pastor oh. Ernie, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pastor, blessings. shout out to Pastor blessings. Ernie. Blessings. Blessings. God bless thank you, you for Pastor. Uh, and Ernie. thanks for Sorry, thanks for watching our you. podcast. Yeah, thank you for watching the podcast. If um, you haven't liked the like this channel and like, like and, it, yeah. give us like on this video and all that stuff. Thank you, uh, Mauricio. Yeah, yeah thanks, Claudio. Our producer. I love you guys. <laughs> love you too, Mauricio. <laughs> so yeah, like like I was saying, it's really dangerous. Uh -huh. How normalized? Yeah, this could be. This can be because like right. right. Now that they're explaining this, it's things that a lot of people do kind of like daily, you know? Right. And right. things as manifesting. It was like I have I have Snapchat, I have Instagram, and a lot of girls and a lot of guys, they believe in manifesting, you know. It's like if you really manifest this, this, this will these things will happen to you. Right. And for me, I'm sorry, it's a way that the it's a it's a way that the devil used right. to, you know confuse the people because that's exactly. what he does yeah yeah that's what he does and and that's why we we stray away from this and and just the fact that someone like a big youtuber like this yes is being open to all of these things and being open to this. so you can you can go to the next uh what is that next task the next bookmark i don't know in the in the youtube yeah yeah the next yeah, yeah there you go yeah and and so this, this show spell demonstrations, demonstrations. Yeah. yeah okay and just to like just to before before you you go to Mauricio, I think that uh, Anthony was getting to start being open with Christianity. Not uh, I, really. I heard, no, I heard well, something. Not, I don't know because he. What is that one YouTuber, uh, Mauricio, that went across the country for? Uh, his name is uh, Ryan Trahan. Ryan Trahan, he's a Christian, and he interviewed him, and Ryan Trahan said he was a Christian on the on the YouTube uh, video, um, and he told him about. You know, well, no, he didn't tell him about Christianity, but he was like, you know, I became Christian. No, of yeah. My girlfriend. What I, what I'm saying is like, I'm not trying to say that the Anthony is Christian. I'm just saying that he oh, was okay. start to be open to Christianity, and things like this might that. confuse a lot of people, you know, because he's like, this guy is having these people, and he's agreeing with a lot of their saying. Yeah. What I'm what I'm seeing here is it's a guy, uh, that real did that it's real really professional. I'm not gonna talk about his profession. Proficious right. professionality. Profession? No, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> but like that, it's really dangerous. Uh, the things that he that he gets himself into, just to generate. Uh, I'm not gonna say views because he's he's maybe trying to prove, or or to I don't know. Like I really don't get the the point of this video. But what I'm trying to say. I think he's trying to demonstrate how. Yeah. They are, I guess I don't know how they think and, and yeah. everything, but. How how careful you gotta be nowadays? Exactly. How how cautious you have to be with your words. How cautious you have to be with. That's why the Lord uh, says that you that you gotta be that you gotta be aware at all time. You know you gotta yeah. be como 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 listo because the las tinieblas, you know, darkness moves everywhere. Yeah, and it can move like as a sweet la lady as Phyllis, because she looks sweet. I mean, yeah. I talked to Phyllis and she's like, oh, Phil, I want to drink a coffee with you or yeah. something. And yeah. then she can be casting spells on me. And exactly. I'm, oh, that's and this other girl is cute. <laughs> this other girl is cute. <laughs> <The> cute witch. <laughs> you cute witch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're going to watch the demonstration. This is a, the, the other another thing that's insane about this video. Yes. And I would love nothing more than to talk about better help for just a oh, quick okay, second. Skip that. Because skip that. Better, <laughs> so, skip better, that. better your mental health with the Lord. Necessary. Read the Bible. Yeah. The live yeah. chat. While he's doing that, better give us a like. Thing. Yes, give yes. We can pause it. Pause it, pause it real love. quick. Instead of liking his channel, like our channel. Yeah. Give us a like. How give us a that? share. Yes, please, give us all guys. that stuff. So what did you say? What you say? I said, come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, watch your mouth. Ring the bell. All right, let's uh, don't talk over me. <laughs> don't talk. These kids, bro. <laughs> These kids now. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll put it in. Put it in. Dot com slash pity. Skip. Now back to the world. Oh, yeah, no, no. I think we're going to. Is that a tattoo or he has like kind of like grease over him? Spell. What would those. What the heck? Oh, yeah, what the heck is that? Like? He ha he's casting a spell already? <laughs> Here, because he cut himself. Bro. <laughs> Drink <laughs> my blood. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, keep going. 
spells look like. Are you allowed to say, or is that secret? I'll share it with you. Okay. There's no cameras rolling, so don't There's, worry. No, that's good. It's, it's all, just you and I me. I believe you. I totally turn off the cameras. <laughs> And I am very gullible, okay. so let's go. Good, let's go. I'm gonna ask you to think about prosperity and success. Mm -hmm. and whatever that looks like for you. Girl, I Why? I got prosperity and success. Let's see, look around me. I mean, I see some things that could be I'm in this upon. $7 billion All right, studio skip it. <laughs> with 40, <laughs> and you are a hefty penny. I am. <laughs> She's pretty, bro. So fundamentally what you're gonna do, uh -huh. you're gonna make yourself a little bag. We're gonna put some okay. stuff in it. Okay. We're going to decide that it's magical. Okay, so it's a decision. It's an internal belief. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do first. I brought a bunch of little pouches. They're in different colors, and so I want you to really think like if you were gonna bring success or prosperity. Put a ten seconds to after. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to teach these kids how to yeah. cast spells. So now I want to think about. All right, just keep a little herbs. bit more, a little bit more, until he's been having a minty. Man. Look at some of these other objects we have here. Some of this so was like, in, what he puts like on. keep going, keep going. Cup. It's beautiful. I think the color association with mm -hmm. wealth, and prosperity, See, so and then the amethyst. I have a connection with this from when I was younger okay. because I used to like to collect rocks. I was a really cool kid that liked to collect rocks. And then this it's one Johnson here, kid. I think uh, the light traveling through it is really beautiful. All right, just I love that you're putting fish on. Um, yeah, but anyway, so just just based on that, I, I don't think we have to keep watching. Um, but just based on that though, like he, just the, the, the new age fact of like, oh, um, I'm putting my energy into this. Manifesting and all this. I got to manifest. I got to think and I got to manifest this this, this spiritual. Thing. I got to think in a positive way yeah, and yeah, yeah. expect good things come to me. And then the, the energy is and stuff like that. You know, a lot of that, like, you know, has been proven wrong and, and how much that has been infiltrated, especially yes. here in America. Um, the fact of new age, the fact of um, all those things of um you know doing rituals doing all these things you know and i didn't i didn't know this maybe because i'm around uh christian circles all the time cuz you surround yourself with the right people man yes so man that's what the bible tells you to do but anyway exactly it, but i i've i've seen it even in colleges where like people are like my sister she has a she has a necklace where it's like it's a stone, but it's like not, it's like literally plastic. It's like nothing. It's not a real stone. I was gonna say let's break <laughs> let's break her stone. <laughs> you gotta pray for my sister. <laughs> no, but she just has a stone. Oh. Hashtag pray for my niece's sister. <laughs> Debbie. Uh, shout out to shout Debbie. Out to Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, bruh. <laughs> She's at school right now. <laughs> but, anyway, but she has like this necklace, and it's it looks like a stone basically. Hashtag pray for Debbie. <laughs> Hashtag pray for. <laughs> but she has a stone, and it looks like a it looks like a stone, right? And people keep telling her, "Oh, what does your stone mean?" You know what I mean? And so my sister's like, no, It's a kid's stone. <laughs> and he's like, no, it does, it's not nothing. It's just a necklace. Like, she just says that. It's like a necklace. She bought it in literally, like, a swap me. It was like nothing. Debbie, let me ask you something. I know you're going to watch You're gonna watch this. And if you don't watch this, I'm going to talk to Manny so you watch this. All right. Why are you buying those type of things? <laughs> in the swap me, bro. <laughs> it was cheap. That's what she said. We don't know what word that was. Oh, that's true. But she paid over it. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, okay. Vamos a echarle aceite ungido, bro. You gotta put aceite. But yeah, so, you know, these put people who are putting it in these ideas and, oh, you gotta manifest and you gotta do this. And then these things will come to you and then these things will, you know, and then it, it's not true. The Bible says to not get involved into sorcery. Yes. Not doing rituals. That is not from God, right? That is not from God. And, and, and stopping here for a little bit, not being that spiritual, but in a way being spiritual, right, you know. Right. Let's say I start manifesting uh, I'm going to be a millionaire by next year. Right. And I truly believe upon that. And I have the best expectations. I'm the most positive guy. I, I can even make a ritual, let's say. Right, right, right. And that doesn't happen. Right. How is my men mental health going to be? I might get on depression. Right. Because that didn't, they, they didn't accomplish and it was supposed to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. So then... We see a lot of people doing these type of things. We see a lot of people depressed nowadays. Right. We see a lot of people that doesn't know what to believe because nothing is proved right for them. Right, right. And and, and I've seen many people that have been ex, uh, you know, Wiccans. Witches. Ex New Age, ex all this energy, all this. And they all say the same thing where you may feel good at that moment and yes. it's almost like a drug. But then you gotta keep going more. Yes. And you gotta keep doing it more. And you gotta do another ritual. You gotta read another book. You gotta you gotta get more rocks. You gotta get more um into yoga. You gotta get into this. 
And what a lot of them say, and you might be feeling this if you're in the new age, and I'm going to get to the point of, you know, the fact that a YouTuber is. Yes. And he's trying to normalize it. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, if you're into this new age, you you won't be fulfilled because this is something where you have to keep working hard on. You have to keep pushing yourself. You have to work on to do it again, do it again to make yourself work hard. And this energy that you're supposedly trying to reach, you can't reach it because it's impersonal, right? It's an energy. It's an impersonal energy. You're just kind of using it. But Jesus is personal, right? We know that Jesus yes. is personal, and you can meet him, and you can know him yes. personally, just like how I can meet know uh, Anderson as yes. a person, you know? Um, and, what, what, what I'm trying to say here is, like, I'm not saying these things are not real because, sadly, they are real, yeah. but they open doors right. to really dark and satanic rituals, you know? Right. Because right now you might be praying over, well, not praying because they don't pray. They right. just they do just rituals. manifest. They just do your their rituals. They they ask for certain things. Like this girl, she's like, I want you to think about prosperity and and and, right, right, right. and it's like you start with that, you know. But some people, but we are we are human beings. We are not perfect. We are selfish. Mm -hmm. In 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 our um. Fleshness in, in or in or in ourselves, mm. we are not good people. Right. Without the Holy Spirit, I'm not a good person. Right. Without the Lord, I'm nothing. Yeah, I'm not a good. I'm not a good human human being. Uh huh. My past is full of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I was about to ask that. Mercy, <laughs> drop a beat. Drop a quick. beat. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> sorry, bro, sorry. I got this. Okay, My it's, ADHD, it's <laughs> All right. So, ahead. like, <laughs> even though the best, like, the best person in in the world, like the most. Uh, people that that do the, the good deeds, you know, exactly. that do the most good deeds. Right. If that person doesn't have Christ, it's still a bad person. Right. We're yeah. gonna know a lot of good people, apparently good people, that are not gonna make it to heaven. Right. Sadly, and I'm not saying that they can't, because everyone can, you know. Right. And I see people jumping from religion on religion, from belief in belief. And they sometimes leave Christianity to, to last, you yeah, know, yeah, to the yeah. last. And eventually they will get there. But what if it's too late now, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean... That's why we make this type of content. Yeah. To show people that you're playing with fire while doing things that doesn't look bad at all. Because if, you, if you're not Christian and you're like, oh, you can manifest good things. You just have to put, you know, little rocks in a, in a bag yeah, yeah. And, and, and manifest good things. Think about, about it good. It will it will be accomplished. I'll be like, oh, that's dope, right? Because the devil will give you things that that you like. Yeah, exactly. He will never give you things that you don't like. Exactly, exactly. And and it, and, he, and he goes for the pleasuring things of. You didn't. <laughs> kick, you kicked me, bro. <laughs> uh, the, the, he tries to go to what you like to pl exactly. Uh, pleasuring. Exactly. In the moment. In the moment, and and then you have to keep looking for. Uh, and I like how Ruslan like kind of said it was one. Or, well, not Ruslan, but he found it from the science yes. guy. Yes. And he said that, like, these new age people, like, it's honestly, like, energy, scientifically, energy, all, all energy is, is some, a substance that you can do work on. Like, that's all it is. Energy is, like, uh, like, I can pick up this thing. I have energy, like, kinetic or potential. I don't know, whatever. And I can pick it up and drop it. And that's, that's energy. I just wasted energy. But you can't be, like, manifesting energy or connecting energy. That does not how energy works scientifically. You know what I mean? Because these people try to use scientific names and try to add it into um, into, into the spiritual witchcraft, way, which spiritual witchcraft, which is not true. That's not if, if you ask any real scientist, none of this stuff is really scientific. You know, like astrology. Like, yes. Oh, I'm a gentleman. I or I'm a cancer, actually. But what are you? Do you know? I don't know. I don't, I'm not into it, bro. Let's go. I'm an Aquarius. Oh, well, I'm a cancer, whatever. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, and I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Aquarius. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what are you? Uh, uh, what's your name? Mauricio? Wait, what's up? What are you? Uh, I'm a Scorpio. Why right. does that matter? <sighs> the worst. Dang, what are <laughs> 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 anyway, but he, he is. Uh, by. <laughs> no, but like, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, bro. We gotta get serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but but 
these astro- these people that believe in astronomy, astrology, astrology, I mean, oh, like they know your personality just because. Yes, and it's not true. Like, I'm like, um, soy colérico, so watch out. <laughs> He's like, you're a, you're you're Aquarius. Oh, you're very um. You're very pure of heart, but like sometimes your attitude is kind of bad. <laughs> like what? I'm mean, like, boo, facts, but it's just not because I'm Aquarius. <laughs> no, facts, but it's not because I'm Aquarius. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, like, you know, just, just like it's, it's trying to get serious. Like, the truth is found in Christ. It's not yes. found in stars. It's not found in in rocks. It's not found in the energies. It's found in Christ. He says, "I am the truth. I'm the life." And no one can come to the Father except through me. Exactly. So the Lord Jesus Christ, man, he, he is the way. I mean, he said it. Yeah. And exactly. we can prove this through history. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, I'm not saying we cannot prove what they're saying is is. We can prove that it's wrong though. Mm-hmm. Through the Bible. Right? Yeah, through the Bible. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I can say that it's wrong to practice it. Yeah. And and you can be open. To yes. Bible. And here's the thing. They confuse energy with serotonin, which is the hormone of happiness. Serotonin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y- you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So they make themselves like how much what they're doing, that they're generating serotonin. That's serotonin. Right. Yeah. Serotonin to stay happy and be like, oh my God, I have energy. Because a lot of people confuse happiness with energy. Ooh, preach. Make sense? Sheesh. This is coming from the Lord because I have no idea. <laughs> I know nothing about about Ooh. about about science. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. what I know is that there is a Lord. Oh Hallelujah. <laughs> I know that, that the Lord is <laughs> gonna give you gonna give you happiness, but that happiness is not gonna it is not going away because it's it, it comes from joy. Right. Happiness can go away. Joy will never go away. Yeah, exactly. That's joy. something that you have Lots to yeah, exactly. that's something that you have to understand. Yeah, and this serotonin that they are that they are creating in their minds, that's why they have to keep doing it. I keep doing. It's just like a drug, right. like you said. Yeah, exactly. And so you try weed for the first time. They say I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you feel high. You 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 feel numbed, and it's cool. But then you go back and you feel depressed. Right. And you start feeling worse. So you do it again, and okay. you you have to start doing it often till it's a vice. You know, till you're addicted to it. Exactly. And yeah, and and so. The only true joy is in, in Jesus Christ. If you're watching this, everyone else, and the fact that this is being normalized in in our culture, normalized in even I've seen a lot of young people get involved. In this, you know, generations, in, man. New age. This generation, it's and, exposed to, to a lot of to a lot of damage. You know, they can they can be destroyed so easy nowadays. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why you guys that are Christian and not listening to these gotta stay strong in your faith in our faith right because just through the lord we'll find peace yeah yeah and then yeah and this yeah it's true and as us christians we gotta stay firm in this culture that that's why this is so popular because they teach yes. a lot of your truth and your energy yes and then your truth is your truth and my truth is my truth you know like the bible says that he is the truth there's nothing else yes and, and like we were talking with juan valdez again man mm-hmm. that guy blew my mind i, I really uh, wow like he was saying you know it's like if your truth is true how do i know it's true if it's yours exactly how why do you want me to agree with it if i if i think that my truth is my truth exactly you know like there can be a real big confusion right there yeah and big arguments that there exist already yeah it's like oh like like with this genders thing with this uh uh fights uh, between who is better mm-hmm. when there is no one better than any other? Yeah. I'm not better than you. I'm not better than Debbie. Debbie's not better than me. Right. We complement each other as humanity, you know? Exactly. We all need each other. In certain point, when Manny, when Manny is going through a hard time, he calls me and he's like, brother, can, can you pray for me? I'm going through 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 uh, a big problem right now. Right. Sure, Manny, I'll be praying for you. Same thing with him. Same thing with like La Pastora. I can be like Pastora. Would, would you pray for me? Like I'm really feeling this type of way, and she'll be she'll be praying for me. Exactly. Because we all need from each other. You don't need energy. Uh, exactly. From any anyone else. That it's the Lord and the people. Well, people that love you is not giving you is not giving you their energy. They're praying to the Lord. 
Right. So the Lord can give you that energy that you need. Yeah, exactly. The strength. Th that strength yeah. that you need. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, and I just hope that you look for God. And for those Christians, like, stay firm. Um, be sharing the gospel, sh sharing this to people that most of this is because they don't, a lot of these people sometimes come from churches and they feel like they're not, unf they're unfulfilled in churches sometimes and they, cause they don't, are t aren't told the truth and, and they're not shared the gospel. Right. And they're like, Oh, I used to go to church, but like, I didn't find really spirituality there. And I didn't find the answer of spirituality there. Cause like it's in our nature to look for spiritual. Yes. Things, right. So yeah. And stay firm and, you know, just be watching out and all that stuff. And but I mean, that's all I gotta, I gotta say for this episode. I mean, I enjoyed it. Give it a subscribe. Give us a like, S uh, subscribe to us on why you podcast. Um, I'm going to put that on the description after I finish with this podcast and, uh, you can watch us there. All uh, past episodes are there too for, our, from our channel. I don't know if you have anything to say. Well, all I'm going to say is like, seek for the Lord, man. That's all. That's all we have to do. The Lord is the answer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this a lot. Love you.